I've brought the spirit flame potion. Well done. Be aware that the crops that thrive in spring will wilt under the summer sun. It's best you finish any tasks that still need to be done. Now, are you ready to say goodbye to spring? Yes, I am ready for some summer sun. Wonderful. Let us begin. Take your place in the circle. And so we begin the turning of the seasons, just as our ancestors have done for thousands of years. Novice, pour the spirit flame into the fire. We say goodbye to the gentle sun of spring. We welcome the golden dawn of summer. Um, yes. We turn the seasons, like they said. Honeybee, you're here. Of course I am, Grandma. For a moment, I thought you were Robert coming to collect me. I, I felt a warm breeze. Yes, we turn the seasons. That's all. <laughs> still a skeptic, I see. But there is still so much you haven't seen. Still so much to learn and do. Oh, I've done my best to take care of Violet since her mother disappeared. Don't worry. I promise I'll be here for her. I know you will, sweetheart. You're going to do great. I'm proud of you. I'm so glad you came back to see me. <sighs> me too. I just wish we had more time. We had <laughs> time enough. We've learned how to run the farm. I'll take good care of it for you. And I know you can bring the community and the coven together. Promise me. You'll remember everything I've taught you. I promise. You will be a marvelous witch. I can already see your powers blooming. It's time for me to rest. Take care, my beautiful little honeybee. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Goodbye, Grandma Hazel. I'll take up your mantle and protect the town. You can rest now. Today, we say goodbye to one of this town's finest citizens, Hazel Wild. Her dear friend Lena is going to say a few words. Hazel was my mentor. Yes, but she was more than that. She was always giving advice, a bowl of soup, a basket of fresh eggs. She never ever gave up on those she loved. And she loved this island more than anything. And now she's given us Terra. Oh, we are so glad you're here. It means Hazel hasn't really left us. Thanks, Lena. Hello. You're Hazel's granddaughter? I'm Wesley. I've never seen you around before. Oh, I don't live in Fairhaven. Oh, I see. So you came over on the ferry from Milkwater. Well, thanks for taking the time to come all that way. Um, of course. I wanted to come pay my respects. Hazel was a wonderful friend. Oh, uh, and I uh, have this for you. I run a rare bookshop, you see. Hazel had me fix the binding on this old family heirloom. I know she would have wanted you to have it. Oh. 
Uh, th thank you so much. Well, I should go. Nice to meet you, Terra. Nice to meet you, too. Wait. That's not the way to the ferry. <sighs> Finally, a moment to myself. Now I can look at that book that, um, that man... Wesley gave me? Huh. Looks like a journal. Grandma's journal. <sighs> this is her handwriting. On the front flap it says, To my dear niece, to record thoughts both mundane and magical. Vivian. Vivian was Grandma's aunt. She must have been a witch too. Here's the first entry. Today's chores took me through the portal where I spoke at length with the fairies. Did she write fairies? Maybe I'm misreading the writing. Or maybe there's even more to discover on this island than I realized. Dullness binds my body tightly. Awaken me and make me sprightly.